and I'm back again with another video as you can see from the title we're getting into this head today and I don't feel like really washing my hair or even putting heat in it so we're gonna try some heatless curls I used to do this back in the day when my hair was old from a straight hairstyle and I just wanted to bounce back to some curls so I'm gonna bantu knot this the old-fashioned way and just see what these kind of curls are gonna pop out and be um when i'm done so yeah. yeah but these are the products that i'm using um is i'm using cantu coconut curling cream this is i love this this is just good for moisturizer i'm only going to use a little bit of product because my hair is straight and i kind of just want to keep it straight so i'm using this and then i'm also using the nairobi wrap and shine um this is the set in lotion this works really well. This is for hold. I'm just going to secure these with a rubber band. And that's what I have in here. Some rubber bands. My scalp, scalp may be a little dry. So I have some um, extra virgin black castor oil with tea tree. It's all natural. So I'm going to use that as well. But yeah. Um, let's get into this look. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But um, yeah. So. <laughs> because I find that that helps flatten my roots when I take it down and also when I take down the um, bantu knot and I untwist or unravel the bantu knot each uh, 
section of hair that I put or took to use to twist the hair will actually come out and I will take them down like piece by piece so that they'll be curled. I probably ain't make no sense how I just explained that, but uh, you'll see. So I just wanted to come on and tell you that.
look i hope you guys like this style i kind of fell back in love with the style again this was my first time doing it in some years um and i still got that touch baby these curls are a little tight but they will fall they're just really moisturized from the Co uh, cantu curling cream and then i also got some hold from the setting lotion but it's still soft and like it's just really bouncy it's really cute and of course you can fluff them um, to your to your liking when you do the bantu knots you can do them as big or as small as you want them to be i did them kind of medium size and to be honest my hair was still a little bit damp um, probably because I just uh, did them last night and didn't leave them in like really really long but for the majority of my the rest of my hair it's pretty dry and they were really just dry in the bigger I mean wet in the bigger sections so yeah but you can do a lot of styles like you can pin these in the front and make like a bang and they're super soft so I think I'm gonna get some bobby pins and like do a bang let me see if I can find some bobby pins Hey guys so that's the finished look um thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that post bell notification so you're always updated every time i upload a new video thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later bye